everybody! Today we shall be learning how to subtract negative and positive numbers, which are also called integers. For this lesson, we will be using a number line. Aha! This is a number line. It's basically a mini version of Mathland. Each of the dashes marks a certain number's place, and those numbers are marked below. Zero is in the middle, all the positives are on the right, and all the negatives are on the left. The arrows on the ends mean that the number line goes further than it shows. All right, let's start. How about positive one minus negative two? Oh, by the way, you can put a subtracted negative alone in parentheses just to make the equation clear. Otherwise, it might look like this. And that would just be confusing. Anyway, as we learned before, negatives are stubborn and they don't like to do what they're told. For example, positive one minus negative two really turns into positive one plus positive two. Addition always goes right. So we move two numbers that way. So positive one minus negative two equals positive three. Now let's try subtracting a positive from a negative. Let's use negative one minus positive two. Subtraction always goes to the left. So we'll move two spaces that way. And the answer is negative three. Finally, let's subtract a negative from a negative. Let's use negative three minus negative four. Like all negatives, they are very annoying. So negative three minus negative four really turns into negative three plus positive four. Addition goes right, so we move four spaces that way. So the answer is positive one. That's all for today. See you later.